So where I live, you can pick up both examples of these cars in the $15,000 range. I'm not talking about a pristine coupe, but a Fox body, a vert, or a hatch. On the other hand, these guys, in the price point where I live, these guys around the $15,000 range, if you shop around, can be had with as little as 100,000 kilometers or less on them. So what can we say about the old Fox body Mustang? They're a legend, an icon, a seasoned drag strip warrior. In my opinion, they embody more of the 60s Mustang than any other generation. They had the three body styles, the coupe, the fastback, and the convertible. They were also lightweight and cheap. Well, what can we say about the old S197? It was the first of the retro cars. Without it, we may not have seen a retro styled Camaro or Challenger. Just like the 60s Mustangs, Ford began offering the Pony Package, the GT, the Shelby GT, the California Special, the Boss, and everybody's favorite, the GT500. So when it comes to engines on the old Fox body today, you can find anything under the hood of one of these cars, from a four-cylinder to a Godzilla swap, LS, Coyote, the list goes on and on. You'll never know what you find underneath the hood of one of these cars. Just be aware of that when you're stopped at a stoplight. You never know what's lurking underneath this hood. Our old S197, on the other hand, concentrating specifically on 05 to 09, has either a V6 or a 300 horsepower 4.6 liter V8. So both of these cars respond extremely well to bolt-ons. However, the old Fox body is starting to become troublesome with age. So these lower mileage S197s you can find out there can still be pretty reliable. So which one of these cars is right for you? Well, we have to ask a few questions first. So, how will you be using this car? Will you be taking it to cruise night once a week and out to get ice cream? Or do you intend it to be a daily driver and a car you could take possibly on vacation? We also have to ask the question, can you work on it yourself and do you want to work on it? If you're hands-on and you like to tinker or you like to work on cars and you want to enjoy one of the coolest driving experiences of all time, then the Fox Body's for you. Even if you're not hands-on and you want a Fox Body and you're only going to the local cruise night or out for ice cream once in a while, this may still be a great car for you. That's not to say you won't want to pull your hair out when it breaks, and it will break eventually. Problems will arise when the cars are just getting old. Breakdowns even happen with new cars, right? So if you want a great daily driver that's not bad on fuel, then the old S197 gets the nod. So whether you're taking it on vacation, to work, or the corner store, it should get you there without too many worries. That is, as long as you pick up a lower mileage example that's been looked after. So guys, when I'm talking to you about something, I'm not just some YouTuber that went out and bought a Mustang and started a YouTube channel. I've been playing with these cars since I was 15 years old. I have first-hand experience driving both of these cars from Canada to Florida and back. So the old silver bullet here, we broke the passenger side door handle. We had the car quit in Georgia at the busiest gas station around, and we had to push it out. We went across a seven mile bridge on the way to Key West, and the car started to spit and sputter. And believe me, you don't want to be broke down on that seven mile bridge. On the way home, Jackie had bought way too much stuff at Hobby Lobby. This thing was practically dragging on the ground. It was bottoming out all over the place. But the car is lowered, so there is that. Once we got home, the air conditioning quit. And then, on my second trip out, I broke the T5. It's just getting to be an old car, right? So Jackie and I also took the S197 from here to Fort Lauderdale, and we encountered zero issues. We had no problems with it. AC on the whole way. It was reasonable on fuel, very comfortable, and all I did when I got home was change the oil. It was just time. And I hate to say it because I love Fox bodies, but this thing was way more comfortable for the trip. However, when it comes to the coolness factor, there's nothing cooler than driving around Key West near Fox body 90 miles from Cuba. Just saying. So if road tripping your Mustang sounds like a cool thing to you, check out this video right here. As always, thanks for watching. Bye for now.